The average mathematics marks of two sections A and B in class 9 in an annual examination is 74. So the average of two sections is 74. The average marks of first section is 77.5 and that of the second section is 70. The ratio of number of students of section A and section B. See, let us assume that the number of students in sections A and B in the sections A and B is A and B respectively. No need to write this statement in the exam, but then number of students in section A is A, number of students in section B is B. Right? Now what is given here? The average marks of both the sections is 74. Right? Now we know that when average is given, we can find out the total. How do we get total or sum of all the values? Average into the number of values. So what will be the sum of the marks of all the students in section A and B together? See, average is 74 multiplied by total number of students. What is total number of students? A plus B. This is the sum of the marks of all the students in both the sections A and B. Now this total or this sum of the marks should be equal to the sum of the marks in section A plus the sum of the marks in section B. What will be the sum of the marks of section A? See the average marks of section A is 77.5. Let us multiply the average 77.5 with A, the number of students. Plus the average of section B is 70. Multiply that with B, the number of students in section B. Simplify this, we get the ratio A is to B. What happens? 77.5A minus 74A. So that will give you 3.5A equals to 74B minus 70B. That gives you 4B. So we can say A is to B. A by B is equal to 4 is to 3.5. But you know that having uh, you know fractional values in ratio is not the right format, right? Ratio should always con con uh, have integer integers in it, right? And even if you look at options 7 is to 8, 7 is to 5, 8 is to 7, and 8 is to 5, does not. Matter. So let's let's get in the right format. What is it? Multiply both the values by 2. You know that when both the terms in a ratio are multiplied by a common value or divided by a common value, it does not affect the value. It, it does not affect the ratio there. Now to convert this 0.5 into an integer, you have to multiply by 2. So multiply both of them with 2. 4 into 2, 8. 3.5 into 2, 7. That's your answer. 8 is to 7. That's it. And I need not give you a shortcut formula for this. I mean after doing all this, see it is only one equation. If you can write this equation properly and simplify, you will get it. Right? It's not uh, very complex. But otherwise if you observe, 70 difference, so average is 74. 74 difference 70. 4 or let me let me put, put it here 4 and 74 difference 77.5 is 3.5 so if you have to take in the reverse order you understand we want the number of students in A and B so the number of students in A will be the average average of both the sections and the average of B it should be in the reverse order right so for A you should take average difference average of B 74 difference 70 and for B you should take average overall average difference with uh, average of A so this is 74 difference, 77.5. That will be the answer. 4 is to 3.5 simplified further as 8 is to 7. Option C.